Let's get some uh, political reaction then. We are now joined um, on the line by uh, Pule Mabe, who's the ANC national uh, spokesperson. A very good afternoon to you, sir. Okay, my apologies. I understand we have the FF Plus leader, in fact, on the line, uh, Peter Horevald. A very good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. All right, let's start here. I mean, I'm sure you'd like to uh, condemn uh, this uh, violence and the crimes that have taken place at these uh, establishments, at these uh, taverns. Uh, where do you believe, uh, you know, the blame needs to be placed? I mean, I was listening earlier on, and, and I wonder if you were listening to uh, the EFF uh, spokesperson, Sinawa Tambo, saying that the, play, the blame needs to be put on Big Dele and uh, uh, the police. But what are your thoughts as, as you reflect on what's just uh, taken place? Firstly, please allow me to extend my condolences uh, to the family and the loved ones of the victims. I want to blame the criminal justice system of South Africa. These are the results of a criminal justice system failing the people of South Africa. And the reason I say that, when I talk about the criminal justice system, I specifically refer to the police as well as the Justice Department. And if you go and look at statistics, it is quite clear that a criminal has about an 80% chance to get away with crime. Criminals in South Africa don't fear the police anymore. They are not uh, deterred by the criminal justice system that they will pay for all their criminal deeds. And that's why I see this as the result of a criminal justice system failing the people. And if you look at this specific incident, yes, uh, according to the Provincial Commissioner uh, General Malewa, Malewa uh, it appears that it was AK-47 uh, assault rifles used. Those are illegal firearms. Individuals, private people cannot own such a firearm. That means that the criminals are using these heavy caliber and uh, firearms uh, to go into these taverns and just have a mass killing of people. Now, at this moment, we don't know what the motive is. There can be various reasons. For instance, we must ask ourselves, uh, do we have uh, a war amongst uh, tavern owners in South Africa? Is it a matter of the owner maybe uh, is in debt with someone that they use these sort of methods? But the intelligence services should determine that. The fact of the matter is it is totally unacceptable. I condemn it in the strongest way possible. But again, the problem is, and you uh, previously referred to the East London matter where uh, children died, 21 people and uh, children died. Now, the president of the country says, no, but we must think about increasing the age of uh, people using liquor at open places and taverns to 21. There's no use doing that because the children who died there are already underage in terms of the law. They were under 18 years, and the law determines that it's only 18 years and older that can attend such a tavern. So the problem is that we do not ensure that the law is complied by, and we do not enforce the law in South Africa. South Africa has some real good laws, but the problem is, again, it is when we have to enforce it. So there's no doubt in my mind that we are now experiencing the results of a failed criminal justice. And I'm worried about it. This is not going to be the last incident. The criminals are becoming more violent. More and, and that is part of the problem. All right. Uh, thanks very much uh, for weighing in uh, this afternoon. Then uh, FF Plus leader Peter Kronewald uh, weighing in on uh, these uh, incidents that we're speaking about.